Yep. So, Doctor, can you just introduce yourself first? I'm just looking down at Channel 7 there. Yeah, um, my name's Mandy Oric. I'm uh, one of the senior vets at Golden Grove Vets for Pets, and it's my job to uh, check the animals in hospital. So, this morning I checked Coda. Um, and I think he's done an amazing job of recovering from his injuries, considering um, what he had, uh, what happened to him. Um, he's very happy, he's not in pain, uh, his bandages are in place, um, so he's eaten overnight, so we're very pleased with him and we're able to discharge him from hospital. Um, he'll be coming back for revisits tomorrow and the following day, so we can monitor his progress, but um, he's going very well at this stage and we're very happy. What, um there are reports that the stabbing was quite close to an artery. How lucky was, was, was Coda? Um, I didn't do the surgery, but one of our senior surgeons did. And from the description in the notes, it, he's very lucky. What, what artery came close to being nicked? Uh, one in his neck. And is that the carotid artery? Like in his uh, I think it was the jugular vein, the actually. Vein. Yeah. Is it okay just for you to explain that yeah, he was lucky because of this reason? Yeah, he was lucky to uh, escape further injury because the wounds were very close to a major blood vessel in his neck. So further injury, or would that have been fatal? That, is that it could have been. Could have been. Okay. What about um, the actual treatment itself? Obviously, that the bleeding was stopped. Just take us through in simple terms for the. Mm. <laughs> um, I, yeah, the bleeding was stopped, and the surgeon uh, opened up the area and you know stopped any further bleeding, um, stitched it up again, and uh, made sure there weren't injuries that go, went into his chest and there's been a bandage placed to keep that all under control. Tell me this is not something that you see every day, I would imagine. No, not very common. <laughs> Tell me about whether or not um, you think he'll make a full recovery. I do think he'll make a full recovery. Um, I think he's an amazing dog. Yeah. He's so easy for us to handle. Um, and, you know, considering he, you know, had major injuries and he could be painful, he was, couldn't have been nicer. So he's an amazing dog. And just do you think, just the psychological thing, do you think this will lead to, you know, I don't know how much you know about animal psychology? Um, I, think, I, I think you'd need to speak to the trainer about that, but um, I think he's, he's so well balanced, I think he'll probably get back to working like he was before.